Yeah. Hang on, I have a question. Yeah? By saying mythology, you're indicating that that is not actually true. Yeah. I don't believe that. Mm. <laughs> um... I know mythology is spelled wrong, but let's not dwell on that. <laughs> um, dragons are described as six-limbed, scaly, fire-breathing um, giants. In different cultures or religions, dragons can be represented as good or bad, depending on what you think of it. In a lot of Chinese, Japanese, or Korean cultures, dragons can be used to um, keep away bad spirits or a bad bad luck. Um, they keep big statues, usually made of bronze or gold, in the throne rooms to uh, make sure that no bad luck comes to the king or queen. Sometimes it can keep away diseases. Um, an egg, in according to Dragonology, the complete book of dragons, is it um, hatches after three years, thirty six months. And does anyone want to come up and flip the... Zachary. Zachary? You need a volunteer. Here, right. Pull it in closer because there's some good... Zachary, you're going to lift up the three months first. Okay, three months. Can you read that out loud? <laughs> um, eggs... There's, this is the eggshell right here. The yolk sac. And the amion. And the amion is... Dragon. Okay, you gotta make them see what you can see too, okay? And the Coron it is the outside of the dragon. The Amberto is the dragon and the shell is the outside of the egg. Twenty four months. The egg horn. The egg horn makes it um it's kind of like a beak, as believed it helps them crack open the eggs. And, um, and finally, 24 months, this is male, uh, 36 months, this is a male, and this is a female. You see that it, that it has larger wings, but a short, but a shorter, um, a difference between the tail. Yeah, and there's a difference between the tail, and there's a difference between this little horn right there. Okay, Zachary, do you want to go back to your seat? Yep. Um, why would people believe in dragons? Dragons are usually found in religion, fairy tales, and just stories in folklore. Um, dragons can be used to warn people about places, um, say, say something that could happen. In China, some dragons can be celebrated on holidays when a lot of different people dress up and, uh, celebrate the dragon. A Chinese dragon usually has four legs, no wings, and is long and red or green. And they have a mane, kind of like whiskers. Um, and dragon script doesn't have a cue. It does annoy me. Um, it's kind of a confusing language, like an F looks like an A, B looks like a B, and an upside down twig looks like a C or a K. Um, the characteristics of a Chinese dragon usually has no wings, a thin snakish body, and a long whisker-like mane, usually green or red. In other religions that I have not found out completely which ones, dragons are recorded as monsters who terrorize villages, towns, and people, and people turn them into fairy tales. Um, dragons are usually um, famous for kidnapping animals or people, taking them to caves with a lot of, um, with a lot of uh, treasure. And that's why usually they um, are hunted down by knights. Um, according to the Book of Dragonology, the complete Book of Dragons, in the forest there's a dragon called a knucker dragon with four legs and vestigial wings, and a marsupial dragon with four legs, wings, and a fiery pouch. This one looks kind of like a kangaroo. Um, does anyone have any questions? How
I have a question. Else. Do you have a question, Zach? No, okay. For dragon script, is that that the dragons write that, or is that the people around the dragons made that up, or something um, else? I think it's for dragons. It didn't say how it works. Okay. I don't think there's any specific way to pronounce it. I just think that it's um, for writing. Yes? So uh, for the marsupial dragon, the fiery pouch, what would be the advantages of having fire in the pouch for the, the young? The fiery pouch is... Um, it would keep the egg warm because usually the egg needs to be kept somewhere warm for a dragon. Oh, so like a warming oven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then. Uh, why are dragon uh, mythology? Why is this so prevalent around the world? You want to repeat the question because sometimes they can't hear on the thing. Um, why are dragons uh, believed in? Why do so many cultures believe in dragons? Um, people usually think that they see a dragon somewhere, or they use it to warn children about something. Dragons, um, the earliest recorded dragon that I know of was recorded in China, and um, a king used it to, he called it like a spirit, like this will keep away bad spirits. And um, around the world, a lot of different cultures said, I killed this dragon, and this is where I got all these jewels. And in fairy tra tales today, they use small, cartoony, chubby dragons to um, just tell kids um, this is what we used to believe in. But um, a lot of different dragons have varied over time. The original was the Chinese dragon, a long, snakeish looking creature. It looks like um, if you took a snake, and a dinosaur. Um, and most dragons are believed to have fire, but this cannot all be true. Some, a lot of dragons are believed to have wings. Um, not true with a lot of dragons. Um, Bat-like wings. Um, I think we have time for two. There's two last questions and then there's a few questions, but we'll pick two. One's easy, one's hard. Which one do you want first? Easy. The easy one is which one's your favorite dragon? Um, my favorite dragon is uh, probably what's called a um, European dragon, which uh, it has um, four legs. So it's um, it's just your straight up basic dragon with four legs, big wings, and a uh, dark reddish color. Okay. And then the harder question is, wait, let me read it right. It was. Does mythology say where was the last dragon? Like, where and when did it live? Um, a lot of people say that dragons live in mountains, but here it says where different dragons live. There's forest dragons. Two no, sorry, the question was the last live. dragon on Earth. Where the, would it have been? Uh, the last dragon on Earth was, uh, it probably could have been, like, Arctic regions or desert and savanna, probably somewhere that people wouldn't be very much. But you're guessing. The research didn't I'm say. guessing. It didn't say. Okay. Yes. What would you do if you had a dragon today? Uh, if I had a dragon today, I would want to train it. Yeah. To do what? Put it in the army. Put it in the army? <laughs> yeah. Weaponize it? Yes, I would weaponize it. <laughs> What's the point of a fire-breathing giant if you can't use it for fire-breathing power? All right. I don't know. All right. Phyllis kids, thank you so much. I think we got to wrap up and go to some other meetings. We appreciate all your hard work. Bravo. Okay. We're going to unmute, or everybody can unmute if you guys want to say anything. Yay. Um, I just want to say, I loved it when Zachary was, like, taking over your presentation. <laughs> 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 okay, which one was that? Eli? He's watching. Maybe we'll send you this little sheet too, because Addie put together an exercise yeah. for everyone to do. So she's got a puzzle that we it can. It kind of has to work house. at our house because the there's a treasure hunt at the house. So if you're in lockdown, Shay Phillips, you get to do an Adeline-driven treasure hunt based on dragons. Um, and with that, we're gonna say thank you to everybody online. Say thanks for coming. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>